In my previous Animal Crossing video, I mentioned that I've made quite a few bells from trading with other players online. However, Animal Crossing doesn't have a trading platform built into the game, so it can be a tricky element to navigate, and I thought I'd share my own guide on trading from my experience so far. I primarily trade on a Reddit subreddit called AC Trade, which you can find at reddit.com slash r slash AC Trade. There are some specific community guidelines and rules to follow there in order to participate, and the same is probably true of any particular Animal Crossing marketplace. So start by learning the rules of the road within the community marketplace you're using. But how does trading work in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Well, it's a bit risky to be honest. Since there's no trading platform in the game itself, trading essentially works off the honor system. You bring the items you're offering and drop them on the ground for the other person to pick up. And they do the same. This can certainly lead to a Mexican standoff with neither party willing to drop their items first. It's particularly difficult when dealing with high value items such as a rare DIY recipe that can be scooped up quickly. This is why picking a good marketplace is important since there will be some sort of trust system built into it usually. For example, on Reddit's AC Trade, if you steal or trick someone and get reported, you'll be banned and blacklisted from the community altogether. But you should always do your due diligence on your end as well. Look at their profile and see if it seems trustworthy. Have they been making lots of trades for weeks, or are they a brand new user with no trade history at all? If you don't feel safe with a trade, then you can always ask them to drop their items first. Only drop your stuff when you feel comfortable. But still, there are no guarantees, so always keep that in mind. Every Animal Crossing trade comes with risk. And not just the risk of theft. The technical system isn't great either, and a poorly timed disconnect could leave you missing out. Some shady types might use that to their advantage, forcing a disconnect and then claiming it was just the internet cutting out. I had an issue once, though not during a trade, that resulted in me losing some bamboo trees. I had a friend over to pick up the trees for their island. They dug them up and the game saved my island with the bamboo dug up, and then disconnected them which reset them without the bamboo trees in their inventory, so the trees just disappeared. Still, we can't all live in fear of technical glitches. Once you've decided on a trade with someone, you'll either need to head over to their island or invite them over to yours. This is usually done with a dodo code, unless you're trading with people on your friends list. A dodo code is a five character code that lets someone search for your island without having to be on your friends list. You can limit the dodo code to friends or best friends, but for trades with people online, you'll want to choose the more the merrier option which will open your gate up to anyone with the code. Once you've opened your gate, just pass the code along to them in a private message. It's important that you don't post this code publicly since then anyone could visit and may trick you into thinking they're the person you want to trade with, but really they'll just take your stuff and run. So keep the dodos private. Alternatively, you can go to their island using their dodo code. Just head over to the airport and enter the code when asked. It really doesn't matter whose island the trade happens on, it's just a matter of preference. However, if you're trading something like a bamboo tree, then you will need to be best friends with the person in order for them to actually plant the tree on your island or for you to plant it on theirs. Personally, I like inviting people to mine because it's easier to manage and I can tend to other things while I wait for them to arrive. I also have lots of random freebies for people to take if they'd like. Now on to trading etiquette. Regardless of where the trade is going down, these are some things you'll want to keep in mind. First off, use emotes. Personally, I think this is a great way to ease tensions and help with trust issues. Granted, anyone can put up a facade and throw out a friendly emote, but it's reassuring to see someone do a basic greetings or joy emote. It tells you they're a nice and social player, not some emotionless bell farmer. I typically say welcome and throw out a greetings emote when someone arrives, or I give a simple hi when arriving on someone else's island. If you are inviting someone over, be sure to meet them at the airport. If you don't, they could wander off wherever and you won't know what they're up to. Also, it just makes things easier. If you aren't there, saying welcome or something helps since the dialogue bubble indicates which direction you're in. If you're arriving on someone's island, just wait around outside the airport unless they've told you to go somewhere specific. Don't head off randomly trying to find them. I use fences to shut down the area around the airport so that limits their movement on my island. This is a must for me because I tend to keep a lot of objects just lying around that they could pick up and take with them if they wanted. So keeping them confined to one area prevents any kind of shenanigans. But also if you're on someone else's island and wandering around and see something cool on the floor, it's probably not for you. Don't pick it up. Be sure to communicate too. The in-game communication isn't very easy to use, but you can get the hang of it. It's best to make sure you've hammered out the details of the trade beforehand so you won't have to do much haggling during the trade itself. If you're unsure about where to drop your items or want to confirm the terms, send a message. 
I'd also recommend a wireless keyboard. This will make it much easier to talk. However, the Nintendo Online Mobile app also makes communication easier. There is a voice chat if you're comfortable with that, but it also lets you use your phone keyboard to send messages, so that helps. But what are things even worth? Well, that's really up to you. There might be some going rates here and there, but things are worth whatever someone's willing to pay for them. That's Economics 101. Some things to keep in mind though is that Nook Miles tickets, often abbreviated NMTs, are an important trading currency. Not everyone buys these to use them as tickets, but rather they function as an alternative currency to bells since they're much easier to carry around. You can really trade for anything though, so don't think you always need bells for a transaction. You might just swap some cool furniture pieces with someone, trade one Gulliver item for some gold nuggets, or sell off your extra fossils for a couple stacks of fish bait. If you're lucky, you might also find giveaways to join. These can be tough since a lot of people will want to sign up. Sometimes they're a lottery system, but other times they're a free-for-all, and you might never get in because of all the people swarming the dodo. When people are opening up their gates for freebies, including access to special characters like the rug-selling camel or stargazing owl, it's a good idea to drop a tip. What that is is up to you, but I usually leave at least 20,000 bells. Still, you could tip in NMTs or other things too. I've been tipped an unassessed fossil before. While tipping isn't necessary, if you can afford to leave something, go for it. It encourages people to keep opening their gates to strangers so everyone benefits. Will Nintendo ever implement an in-game trading system? Who knows? Unless they do, we'll have to make do with the honor system. It comes with risk, sure, but there are a ton of advantages to trading, so you should give it a try. Let me know your trading techniques in the comments below or share what Animal Crossing marketplace you like best. And if you like this video and want to keep up with what I'm up to with my animal friends, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.